YouTube video where I am actually making a cake. Um, today is actually my mum's birthday and I decided I want to make her a birthday cake because we are in lockdown and I wanted to do something really nice for her. So I decided I would film me making it because I saw Kiva O'Hara, I think that's how you say her name, I'm so sorry if that's not how you pronounce her name. Um, I saw her make a cake without instructions and I love to bake and I actually, I wouldn't say I do it professionally but I would do it um, on a basis. So I decided I would make a cake and show you and maybe give you a few tips and stuff. So I really hope you like this video. Make sure you give it a big like and hit the subscribe button and we're going to see if this turns out a fail or not. This is my second time baking a cake. So um, yeah, let's get into the video. Honestly, um, today is probably like the worst day to be filming this because my dog is being so bad. Like, no, it's just like he's five years old and you would think that he knows how to behave by now, but obviously not. Um, today I am filming, like I said, I have never filmed myself baking a cake before, so this will be good. Um, so I'm making just a Victoria sponge cake and then I'm going to do buttercream, like DT on the top. And um, I don't have any fondant. So I'm just gonna do a buttercream design and then I'm hopefully gonna add jam into it because I forgot to add jam into the last cake I made. So hopefully we're gonna see how this goes. I'm just using the children's book of recipes. I've been using this for years now and honestly, I've never found anything wrong with them. Today, I'm actually using different cake tins. Today I'm using two square tins because these were the only ones left in Asda and I tried circle ones last time they just didn't work out so I'm gonna try a square this time and see what happens he's just sat down now but honestly he's been the worst today and I just he's driving me insane so um, I'm gonna try and show you as much as I can but obviously you need to remember that I am baking a cake and that it actually has to look edible and it has to taste edible so if I can't show you everything, I'm so sorry and I will definitely pop the recipe down in the description box below. I can't really put on any music either because of copyright, but um, you know, let's see how this goes. So the first thing you want to do then is I always start by melting the butter because it normally takes a while long to do. So I um, just cut up 225 grams of butter. Um, you can use stork. Stork would really help your cakes be fluffy and stuff. Um, I just use Valley Rochine butter because, um, I don't know, I just forgot. But um, stork is really good. We actually have a bit left, but I just forgot to use it. So I am going to melt this in the microwave now. I put it in a bowl. I normally do it on a plate, but like there is a lot in there and it keeps tilting backwards. Um, so I'm going to melt this now. Do everything else I need to do. So, yeah. Um, one more thing, while this is doing, you can kind of hear that now, I'm going to set this aside for later because I am going to make some buttercream and I would rather it being soft rather than putting it in the fridge and then taking it back out again. Just a wee top tip for you. So the next thing I'm doing then, I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can because this is going to be quite a long video. I'm just going to put you back here a bit. You need four eggs. Now four eggs sounds like a lot, but it is a cake. And normally when I'm making cupcakes, there is two eggs. And I'm kind of hoping when I'm making these, there'll be some mix left over so I can make some wee mini cupcakes. Um, cupcakes are normally what I make because I like specialize in them. And they're just so easy to make. I've been making cupcakes since I was four or five. Um, I guess this video is like a dedication to my mom as well because like we've been through some difficult times like um, COVID and she is a key worker as well um, but she actually um, you know she may be a key worker but she's like superstar So I actually have like this specialized kind of egg thing, um, specialized egg thing. Well, I am now whisking my eggs because you actually have to add the eggs in like very slowly because um, normally with cupcakes, they're like such a small batter, but this is like such a big cake, so. I 
look with my hair down. So you actually need 225 grams of caster sugar because the first thing you're going to do is you're going to mix the sugar and the butter together to make a consistency. Um, I think it's easier when you are using a big bowl, so I'm going to get that out now. Um, like I said though, I've been baking since I was like really young because that's actually one of the first things my mom taught me to do because um, her specialty in school was always um, home economics um, or HE or whatever you want to call it and um, she just always enjoyed it and she actually like, well she was in the south so she probably would have got like an equivalent of an A here um, like her cooking is really, really good. My favorite thing that she actually makes, which I really want her to make for my birthday, is her lasagna. It's literally unreal. So her cooking and her baking is incredible. Like she doesn't really do as much of her like baking at the moment because you know she is working and stuff. But her scones, when I was able to eat them, they were incredible. Um, I just can't eat scones at the moment because of my braces. But yeah, my kitchen's literally a mess because my tripod and stuff's in here too. So that's really good. So now I'm going to mix this. I don't know if you use it with a wax or, yeah. So we actually use an electric whisk. Um, you can use a wooden spoon if you want, but we use an electric whisk. I really want like a stand mixer. Like I really wanted to turn bacon into my career, but I just don't see that happening now. But if I had a dream, it would be to have a stand next week because these just hurt my hands so much. But yeah. see me here because I have to move it back a bit but um what you're gonna do now is you're gonna add your eggs one by little because if you add them too much you can't see me they will go like really really runny and you don't want your batter runny you want it like a bit thick um it just depends really but I would really do this really slowly so a bit in mix bit in mix and I'll get back to you after I've done that I'm so sorry you can't see me it's just the perks of a small kitchen some vanilla extract this was really expensive vanilla extract normally I get the one that's like 90p but we just couldn't get the one in Tesco because Tesco are limiting a lot of things mainly because of like the EU and stuff and I do get that there was actually such a stage that I actually couldn't buy ice and sugar in Tesco either because of like the EU and stuff I get there too so the next thing we're going to do then is I'm going to measure out 225 grams of self-raising flour. So I've got this one here and then I've got a brand new bag of meals as well. You can use any self-raising flour, just make sure that you don't use bake or make sure you don't use plain flour. Um, a lot of people do get mixed up with that and I mean it is a common mistake to make. So yep, I'm going to do this now and then one tip, don't just add it in sieve it in with a sieve. Not a lot of people know that, that's why I'm saying.
mix all of the ingredients together and it is a wee bit dense. Um, I can't seem to figure out what that is. It probably is because all the flour is stuck at the bottom because that always happens. So I actually might add just a wee tiny bit of milk um, and that maybe will like miss it a bit because I really would hate to make a dense cake because it's just, I made a dense cake last time and I just don't want to go wrong with that again. So I really do want this cake to be edible. So I'm going to add a bit of milk now and then I'm just going to say now, make sure that you preheat your oven to 180 degrees and you want to make sure that you line your tins with parchment. This is actually really hard to find. I'm so surprised we actually found this and just line it. Um, normally you would do a circle, but I'm doing a square and make sure it goes around the sides as well. And yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what happens after. So I am now going to scoop the mix. This is what the mix looks like, not that it's too, yeah. So I added a bit of milk to it. So I'm now, I've greased my tins. You've already seen that. I have the oven on. My oven is just brand new, so I'm actually trying to work out the shelving. I think I'm going to put it on the lower shelf. My mom's already done that for me. Legend. Um, so now I'm just going to scrape the edges of the bowl and then I'll use this to smooth the top of it. I actually use an ice cream scooper when I am like doing cupcakes or just cakes. It just um, it gives you like a better um, amount and you can, it's just, it's really easy for me. So I'm going to do this now and I'm going to show you what I'm putting them in the oven. So these are my two cakes about to go in the oven. I actually have the perfect amount of mixture. I don't have to make any cupcakes at all, which I'm kind of sad about, but I'm actually kind of glad I just have a cake. So hopefully these will bake okay. And yeah, you bake them for 25 minutes and until golden brown. So I'm really hoping that these bake properly. And yeah, I'm gonna do dishes now because you know, that's life. I am just waiting for a bowl to soak and um, the cakes are actually rising like I have never made a square cake before like I said and I am timing it just with the clock because the clock on the oven is so messed up I just don't know how to work with it so um, I thought I would come on here and have just a wee bit of a chat um, so like I was saying um, this video is kind of dedicated to my mum I guess and um, I'm gonna sit down because I just don't wanna stand up. So I've sat down now, I don't know if you can see me, but um, yeah, no, um, this video is dedicated to her because she is honestly the best person in my life. Mother's Day is also um, either next week or two weeks time. My birthday is in two weeks time. Um, I'm so excited for that. But um, my mom is literally like a superstar, um, single parent, like you can't falter and um, you know, she, like I said, she is a key worker and she's working through all this. And I do my part for her work as well because when I bake, I bake every every week. And last week I made brownies and I gave them um, to her work and I gave them to some other people as well. And honestly, it's just so good to do your part even when you're in lockdown. Um, I'm fitted in with my phone case, by the way. I'm not crazy. Um, so yeah, no, she is honestly like the best person. Um, I honestly don't know what I would do without her because um, I, as people know, I have a complicated relationship um, within my family and I live with my mom full time, whereas my sister lives with her dad part time as well. So um I guess really um, we, me and my mom have both been like, obviously moms and daughters always have difficulties, like arguments, like we do argue quite a lot about over random stuff, 
but honestly she does the cutest things for me and um, I've actually, something she does that just makes me so happy is whenever um, I'm home like during lockdown and stuff, it's just me and Joe in the house um, she would write me a wee note in the morning and it would be something silly like make sure you check this or check that and sometimes I was just looking past, um, looking through Snapchat memories last night and she would always find me like little treats or like things that she would know I would love. So yesterday she bought me a candle for my room because she knew that I was redecorating my room and I'm literally obsessed with candles right now. Um, so she bought me a lovely pinky kind of like zen candle but um something that just it just makes me so happy is i was looking back and she actually had bought me um it was like a wee terry's chocolate orange bar but it was like when they first brought them out and she was all um it wrote on the wee note saying um this is your wee treat for when joe has his wee treat because I always give Joe a treat um, when I'm home with him. He always gets like one when he's with me, um, when I normally have like a wee treat at like three o'clock. So it's just things like that that just make her, that make me smile so much. And she would always be like writing wee notes when she's like, I was in an information evening and stuff with um, my teacher. And she was there with her wee notebook and she was writing down all the wee notes that she was saying. Honestly, things like that, like she can make me laugh so much. Um, Honestly, best person ever. I can start crying now. I'm gonna check these cakes because they're smelling a bit burning and they're not supposed to be out for another 15 minutes, so I might turn the dial down a wee bit. So, yeah. Okay, okay, so I've just taken my cakes out of the oven. Please do not judge, they are slightly burnt because I didn't, I like messed up the timings and I messed up like um, the trays because of the new oven. I am so, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. These have not turned out well. Um, we're just gonna go with it, I guess. I was really expecting that this would like go really well and I didn't want to embarrass myself in this video when I actually am like a baker. This is so embarrassing. I'm just gonna have to let these cool now. I'm going to try and level them and then we're gonna just try and do something. <laughs> I knew this video. I knew something would go wrong. I'm so embarrassed. So I am, um, Back again now, um, I just put one of my cakes in the fridge and the other one out in the utility room. Um, it's really dark now, you can't see me that well. I mean to do that. Okay, now you can see me a bit better. It is roasting in here because I nearly did set off the smoke alarm because they did burn quite a lot. Um, but we, we're gonna persevere. This is really annoying me how this is such an embarrassing for a video. But we're gonna go with it and we're gonna make some buttercream. So I need 225 grams of icing sugar. So I've got a bag here. And then I've just got um, a Sainsbury's box as well. Now for the decoration, I ran out of sprinkles. So I actually had these like really nice pinky ones that I actually bought like a month ago thinking we're not gonna use them, but I actually used them for Valentine's Day. So I picked up when I was at Tesco this morning some rainbow sprinkles so we're just gonna mix them together and just go with it because this video is kind of turned out to be a feel i am absolutely boiling but we go with it you also need 100 grams of butter as well and some vanilla essence again and i just caught that on camera this is a glass bottle and it didn't break I think my heart just popped out of my chest. Okay, we're gonna just... Okay, so you need um, 100 grams of butter, 225 grams of icing sugar, some milk, and some vanilla essence, and then that is your buttercream. And then I'm also making some like jam. I'm not making it from scratch, I'm just adding it in. So you need um, around four tablespoons of jam. So we're just gonna go with it and see what happens. So this is the um, aftermath of trying to slice my cake because I actually do have a cake leveler but it's only for circle cakes. So I've just taken like the excess off it. You can really see that it is nice and fluffy and I have just washed my hands by the way. Um, it actually looks alright. It looks a little thin but honestly my mum is all about the taste not the looks. So we're gonna go with it. 
Okay, so I am in the middle of neck and buttercream, so I've just put the icing sugar in here. I've just put a drop of vanilla essence, and now I'm about to melt the butter that I saved earlier, and I am going to use a hand whisker again. Something I actually really want to try today is I actually bought a cake decorating set when I wanted to be all like career and baking. I bought a turntable, it actually does like turn. And then um, something I want to do for like layering is this spatula. Now you can get these anywhere, but I got this off Amazon for around twenty pound, and it, you get like loads of things in it, like piping bags, molding sets, and um, you do get a leveler, but it's only for a circle. Um, so I wanted to try this out. So I'm just going to use these two today, and then I have piping bags I got from Asta for like one or two pound. Piping bags are like so easy to get now. I have like a hundred in there, and I have so many from Asta. I definitely recommend Asta for a lot of baking supplies. Like you can get stuff for such good prices. And yeah, I'm gonna go melt this now, and I'm gonna show you when I am decorating because decorating is my favorite part. So yeah, let's go. So um, I have just made a buttercream. I'm realizing now if I want to decorate it like kind of on the outside, even though it is so flat, I want to do like kind of stuff on the top of it and then add the sprinkles or I could add sprinkles in the middle. Um, I might need to make more buttercream. So I actually am going to double the recipe. I'm just using the Hartley's strawberry seedless jam. I haven't had jam in ages. So fun fact, I used to always have jam on toast and just cannot stomach it anymore. If I maybe get back into it because of this video, you never know. So this is what my buttercream is looking like. Um, not that you can really see that, but it will probably would. We're gonna see how it goes, but if I need to make any more, that is fine. I'm just gonna do a wee bit of taste test on the whisk. Phenomenal. I don't know what it is, but I basically make professional buttercream. I'm not trying to get any like bakers or anything, like people I work with or anything, but that a buttercream. Spot on. Honestly, my mom loves my buttercream, so I think she's gonna like this. Mmm, so good. So this is my current state. I um I am realizing now how shit that actually looks. I have just put some of the buttercream. It really looks yellow on camera, but it's not, I promise. Um, this is what it looks like. As you can see, look how thin that is. And I've just put um, some jam in a bowl. Honestly, there's me saying, um, I think I'm just gonna keep this like it is and just stick it in the piping bag and pipe it on top. Honestly, this looks so bad. Kind of like for me, not as a professional baker, but as someone who does bacon, on a regular this is so embarrassing how this is just not going to plan because it's so hard to film as well as bacon so i am so sorry that this has failed but i actually think it tastes quite nice so i'm gonna put this jam on now it looks really good it looks like because it's been in the fridge it looks more like a jelly kind of consistency oh my god it looks so good this looks so much better in person by the way um, on camera, it looks so bad, but I actually only used two tablespoons, and I actually think that that's the perfect amount, unless you want, like, really, really, like, jammy. Jammy. <laughs> um, I'm really, like, low down, too, but I actually just put them in the fridge, um, after they cooked, um, because they, um, cool down a lot faster, and, um, yeah. It looks so good. I'm going to show you what it looks like now, and then I'm going to put it on top and then start piping. So I have just finished the cake. I'm so sorry I didn't show you what happened. Honestly, I had a nervous breakdown. I had a little mini breakdown because it looked horrible. Like, I, my mom called me halfway through and she was all, um, I'm on my home now and I was all honestly I am so like I was literally crying because this cake was so bad I know that's really dramatic but when you like really like bacon this honestly I know that you have to have like rough spots in bacon but this actually made me full on cry so this is the um final result honestly I have never been more embarrassed of a cake in my life I'm gonna show you um a wee quick one now but honestly, maybe it'll taste good. 
I just, I've never been more upset about the look of a cake. I tried to cover it as much. To be fair, the turntable did come in handy. I have just never been more embarrassed with a cake in my life. So, yep. So that is the end of this video. This is the final. This was obviously such a fail. And um, I definitely will never make a cake again. Like I say that now. But honestly, just look at that. It looks horrendous. Looks like one of them cake fails on one of them TV shows. But um, yeah, I really hope you liked this video and watched my feel of a cake. Month, I have to do all the dishes now because the kitchen is an absolute mess. Um, hopefully we'll stick a few candles in and we'll maybe pop up a few pictures of what it looks like with the candles in and stuff. And when I slice through, but honestly, she was telling me on the phone, Zara, it is all about the thought. Like my mum would be like that and I guess that's a positive. So, um, yeah, that was my feel this week. I um, hope you liked this video. Make sure you give my feel a like and hit the subscribe button. And I will hopefully post a new video next week. So, um, yeah, bye.